Hey everybody, today's video is a Valentine's Day special where I'm going to be making a heart pendant. Um, and I'm going to make that out of bismuth. So I'm going to use my furnace here. The furnace is just uh, simply some fire bricks on top of regular bricks. And the regular bricks are just to give it height. There's a hole in the bottom brick where you can see I'm fitting in my propane cylinder. Uh, and that's where the heat source is going to be. So here's the view from above. You can see the propane is already lit. Uh, now I'm going to take my bismuth in the crucible here. You can see there's just chunks of metal in there. Um, and I'm going to put that into the uh, heating chamber. And then I'm also going to put the uh, mold in there next to it. And uh, the mold you can see is a heart shape on it. And I'm going to put it into the heating chamber to sort of preheat it so that the bismuth doesn't freeze immediately uh, upon hitting it. And uh, you'll see why that's important uh, coming up. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes heating, and uh, now everything is nice and molten. So I'm going to take the lid off, and uh, if you notice, I flipped it upside down to uh, present the hot side up. That's important uh, for later. Now what I'm doing is just scraping the uh, slag off the top of the bismuth um, so that it doesn't pour into the mold. And now I'm going to get out all the molds and put them on the hot surface. So this hot surface is, is there to uh, further slow cooling. I want to have as slow cooling as possible so that the bismuth has time to form nice large crystals, which is what I'm looking for. Um, so now we'll, we'll take the uh, heart mold, get it in place, and uh, pour the molten bismuth into it. And then we'll take the excess and just pop it into the ingot mold here. So now what we want to do is wait and let the bismuth solidify about part way, about halfway, um, so that the outside is solid and the inside is molten. And that takes just a few minutes, and now we're going to take it and dump out the middle. And we're left with a nice hollow heart shape. Looks like it didn't really form any crystals this time around, um, so I'm going to make a bunch of these and uh, hopefully one of them will turn out nice enough uh, for the final necklace. So here's some of the hearts that I've made. You can see the one I just did is on the left. Um, and a lot of these, are they're all totally different. You know, some have nice crystals in them, some are different colors. It's all kind of random depending on what you get. So my strategy is just to make a whole bunch of them and uh, hopefully you'll find a good one. So here's the heart that I've chosen to put onto the necklace. I think this one's particularly beautiful because it's got this gorgeous gold color with a bit of the iridescent sheen in the back. Um, it's got a lot of nice little crystals in it, and I think it's going to pair really well with the silver that I'm going to be wrapping this in. So one of the pieces that we're going to need is something called a, a jump ring, I believe. It's the ring that connects the pendant to the necklace. And this wire, this is silver wire that I've, I've coiled into a little spring and that's what's going to make the rings. So just coiling it, all I did was put it around this metal rod that I have and just bent it around into this shape. Um, and to make the actual rings, what I'm going to do is cut perpendicular to the coil and then the little rings will fall off and I'll be able to use those. Now I'm going to wrap the heart in wire. This is silver wire, um, 22 gauge silver wire, so it's very thin. Um, and what I did was I twisted it I took two pieces and twisted them together to make this uh, sort of braid. And that's what's going to be wrapped around the outside of the heart. Okay, now I've started wrapping the heart, um, and I wanted to stop and show you the jump rings. So this is what happens when you cut uh, perpendicular to the coil. You get these nice little rings that fall off. Um, so now what I'm going to do is take one of those rings and uh, thread it onto this wire here. Uh, you can see I've, I've already bent it around part of the heart so we'll just slide this on uh, and this should hold it in place pretty nicely so now I've got the wire wrapped completely around the heart uh, it came out looking pretty nice I think for my first attempt at uh, jewel crafting um, you can see what I did was I took the wire went around the back came back up top around to the other side back around back and then I tied the two ends together uh, and there's the jump ring as well up top so now I need to place the second jump ring uh, in that one 
And what that's going to do is allow the, the pendant to sit correctly on the necklace. Well, now that I've got both of the rings threaded on there, uh, it's ready to go on to the necklace itself. So the necklace is actually uh, pretty nice. It's a uh, sterling silver rope chain uh, that I got from a local jewelry store. So uh, we'll be threading this pendant onto it. So here's the finished product. I think it came out pretty decent for my uh, first attempt at uh, making jewelry. And I think she liked it. Thanks for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day.